So we are back on the coast this weekend and to be honest, for no other reason than the fact that I have missed it terribly. This is probably my favourite kind of landscape photography and I haven't been in this sort of environment with my camera now since New Zealand, which is crazy. It feels like a lifetime ago now and I'm delighted to be back. Now, for any of you that watched me when I was doing my videos in New Zealand, in particular my little stint in Auckland towards the end, you will remember that I was doing a hell of a lot of coastal photography and that towards the end of it, I was sick of it. I was sick and tired of it. I needed a change of scenery. I was uninspired by the coast. And I find this really ironic because now that I'm back in the UK, living in Shropshire, and by the way, this is not a complaint about Shropshire at all. I think it's a wonderful location. However, the only thing that it's lacking is a nice coastal area, just like what we have today. So I've made the effort. It's took me two and a half or three hours to get to this location. I've made the effort to get here and we're on the wonderful west coast of Wales. That was unintended alliteration there, by the way, but it worked quite well. Um, clearly this location does not need an introduction. Absolutely stunning. However, we've got this gorgeous peninsula out here that you can see in the distance called the Clen Peninsula. And basically what this is gonna give us is a lot of interest in the backdrop or the background of any images we shoot you know, providing that we choose to shoot in this direction. Um, absolutely phenomenal, beautiful mountainous peninsula. Now, I've had a little look at my Photo Pills app. We're a couple of hours till the sunset yet, but the sun is gonna come down this way and it's gonna set directly behind the peninsula, which is gonna be fantastic, you know, providing that the light is kind to us and all that nonsense, but we'll see how it goes. But either way, I'm just, you know, like I said, delighted to be back on the coast with my camera. So, without further ado, let's go and explore this beautiful beach. So, phenomenal location. Um, gonna be getting a completely unexpected image here, I think. Um, but I thought I'd stop and show you because it's, it's a bit weird, to be honest. It's a bit strange, but <laughs> I've been looking back this way, back into Snowdonia National Park, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, I knew it was there, but a lot of my attention was focused on shooting that way, uh, across to the Clen Peninsula. This is why I came here, for a bit of coastal photography. However, I was looking across this way here and a cow appeared on one of the sand dunes and with the, an astonishing backdrop of Snowdonia National Park, beautiful hills and mountains and quite a lot of nice detail in the clouds and it all just kind of happened so I quickly, frantically threw my long lens on the front, zoomed in at, yeah, 200 millimeters as I assumed and I mean the light's not great, it's pretty harsh but it's a pretty funny little image and it, it came out quite nice and Really, really simple. I I mean, even without the cow, it looks cool, but it's just a really nice, interesting little subject. And of course adds a little bit of scale as well. But yeah, I just thought it was quite funny. This brown cow came over the sand dunes and all of a sudden I was like, oh, that might be a good photograph. So yeah, quickly got set up. Um, F9, ISO 400, it's very windy and my tripod's rubbish. So I need a really quick shutter speed. So that's giving me one 500 one five hundredth of a second and, um, and I'm even still trying to wait till the wind dies down and stuff but yeah um, something a bit different I suppose
So after that wonderfully different, let's call it, shot of the cow, ah, it's made me realise that this direction is outrageously beautiful and it is worth shooting. This direction is looking incredible as well, um, don't get me wrong, but I can afford to wait for another sort of 20, 25 minutes until the sun dips down a little bit more be uh, below that horizon of clouds. But I do want to focus on this direction at the minute. Um, absolutely amazing. I want to try and get some of these sand dunes in the image as well. And it's still, I can, I can still officially call it a coastal image then. Um, and then obviously Snowdonia National Park in the background there, absolutely amazing. So I'm going to get myself set up here now. I've got a nice little vantage point looking out over that way. Uh, and I'm going to try and sort of figure out how I'm going to shoot this, how I'm going to shoot this scene. Right, so we're set up and I think I'm going to do some uh, a little bit audacious here, I think. A little bit daring. I don't think I'm going to shoot the sunset in that direction over the sea, which is crazy to hear that coming out of my mouth because I've travelled this far because I want to do some coastal photography, but this view back into Snowdonia National Park has just won my heart this evening. And I don't feel too guilty because it is just so beautiful. Um, so at the minute I'm actually waiting for the sun just to dip down below, this, it's under, it's, sorry, it's behind a sort of strip of cloud over there over, uh, on the horizon and I'm hoping when it does it's going to cast some nice golden light on um, this direction, you know, towards Snowdonia National Park or at least, if that doesn't happen, um, it's going to light up some of the clouds over there. So yeah, I'm going to, it's a bit of a waiting game at the minute. Um, I've decided I'm going to use my long lens here and I'm zoomed in at about 70 mil and what I'm going to try is a little bit of a horizontal panorama really from right to left um, probably probably four or five photographs from right to left and all the way across it's going to be these beautiful sand dunes in the foreground mid ground we've got a few pine trees there as well which is great because it's adding a little bit of scale in between the sand dunes um, and the mountains and it's given us um, some layers as well which is always good and obviously just the incredible Snowdonia National Park there in the background and then hopefully we get a bit of action in that sky as well fingers crossed right so a little bit a little bit disappointed with that shot at this stage of course I haven't seen it yet but the light didn't really happen um, I think to be honest I missed the best of it when it was a little bit more harsh if that makes any sense a little bit earlier on in the golden hour it would have been better to shoot but took a bit of a risk and I didn't take any photographs and just hopes that it get better maybe a bit of a mistake but um, it's a nice location a nice composition that I can return to if I want to so I'm not going to beat myself up over it uh, I've decided to turn around and shoot this way and what we're getting is the sun's gone down now behind the peninsula only just and it's just an, a beautiful sort of orangey glow and what I'm doing is I've kept my 55 to 200 lens on and I've zoomed right in at 200 mil right in at the peninsula pretty much directly where the sun's setting to be honest and just trying to make the most of that beautiful pinky orangey glow off there in the distance we've got some wonderful clouds and it's almost a little bit abstract as well and um, it's just sea mountains and then that beautiful sky so hopefully that one turns out nice um i suppose i'll tell you my settings quickly now i am bracketing on this shot because quite high dynamic range even though the sun's dipped down uh, below the mountains there it is still quite bright in the sky so around about 130 of a, 130th of a second f9 iso 100 but then like i say i'm bracketing either side of that exposure one darker and one lighter um, so hopefully that one turns out nice. Ooh, so 
Wonderful adventure. A little bit disappointed with the images at this stage. Um, feel like it had a lot more potential. Sunset was a little bit disappointing in general, but I'm not going to let, let it get me down too much. It's, uh, it was wonderful to be here out with my camera, and um, this is somewhere in the old memory bank to come back to if I want to. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please give it a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys, as always, next week on the next adventure. Out!